Thank you so much for joining us as we delve into one of the most important, I believe, seminars right now when we're talking about real estate, and that is about our VA, our military home buyers. And we wanted to be able to empower you today. So we decided to get a group of awesome and experienced leaders that dominate an area of VA home loan and real estate to let you know how not to make the mistakes that will hinder you from moving forward to meet your real estate goals. So today we are going to tap into five of the biggest mistakes veterans and military home buyers make. You don't want to miss it. I want you to save this seminar and go over it over and over again. So today I would love to introduce to you Dan Ahara of the Ahara team of Keller Williams Honolulu. I must tell you, he is an amazing real estate agent over 15 years, top 1% uh, Hawaii's real estate who's who. So thank you so much for being with us here today, Dan, as well as I have Jody Tonga, a VA loan creator, a native here in Kailua, graduated from Iolani, went over to university, I believe of San Francisco, went and got herself empowered in financial economics and her whole mission for you today is to make your home buying experience stress-free. Yes. So welcome today. You're going to get some wonderful tools. And if you have any questions, please let us know. So we're going to delve into our first one, no delays. And that is mistake number one, not even realizing the power of the VA home loan. So Jody, take us away. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. So the VA loan is such a powerful loan. And back in the day, 15 years ago, it was viewed as a weak loan. And, and that's something I just never understood because it is the best loan on the market. So if you are eligible, it is the strongest loan. And these are some of the reasons why. Number one is that it actually allows for a zero down payment. So that means you can, if you're purchasing a property for $500,000, you can borrow $500,000. There's only one other loan on the market that would allow for that, and that is property specific. So that is gonna limit you to, you can only buy in this area. So as a VA loan, you can buy anywhere and you can put zero down. Number two, no private mortgage insurance monthly. So that's huge. For most loans, if you're putting less than 20% down, that's a lot of money. That's a huge chunk of change. So if you're putting less than 20% down, you're paying an additional fee every wow. single month because you did that. Number three is that your eligibility can be used more than once. So that's something that a lot of my buyers get confused about. They're like, no, someone once told me to wait until I retire to utilize my benefit. And so there, I, I always discuss about how I that doesn't really help. I'm sorry, one second. Yeah, keep going, Jody. You're giving okay. us great information. So eligibility can be used more than once is what you're sharing with this. Yeah, so that's a super cool thing. So I've actually helped one of my, one of my best clients. I've actually helped him utilize his eligibility four times. Four oh, times. <laughs> so, and I believe you, MJ, you've utilized it more than yeah. once as well. Three times here on the island. I went from my mm -hmm. town home, home to Makakilo. Now I'm in Hawakale, my dream home for my family in Ever okay. Beach. Yeah. So with no money down. <laughs> with no money down. That's the. That's why it's such a powerful loan. Um, a lot of people get. Um. Sometimes they get confused because they say they want to save it until they retire or until they end at their final place. And that's one of the biggest, that is one of the biggest mistakes that can be I made. I like that, Judy, yes. <laughs> so um, the other reason is that the rates are super low. So in comparison to the other types of loans, such as a conventional loan or a, an FHA loan, the VA loan is the lowest interest rate. So that's a huge benefit in itself. That's going to save you money monthly. And then lastly is that there is a super amazing option to, if rates drop again, it's called a streamlined interest rate reduction refinance. 
So you're able to actually drop right into that lower interest rate. And that, those are, that's why it's such a powerful loan. That is amazing. So can you let us know some things that we need to know about the VA home loan? Yes. So there are some really important it's aspects like because I do get a lot of my overseas buyers. They'll call me and they'll say like, hey, I'm going to be in Germany for the next three years, but my mom is going to move to Hawaii. So I want to buy in Hawaii. You know, and so I do have to explain to them that it must be owner occupant. So yes. unless unless your spouse is going to occupy the property, you can be overseas or you can be on the mainland and still buy in Hawaii as long as you're at least your spouse. It cannot be your mother, it can't be your brother, it can't be your friend. Um, so that would be the definition of owner occupied. Either you yourself who is eligible or your spouse has to be occupying the property. You cannot buy a property to not occupy it, or you cannot do an investment purchase. But that is so good to know. So what are the, uh, the county limits? What is the max amount? So it, every county has their own limit. And okay. our county's limit this year is 765,600. And so the interesting thing about that is that I don't want to get too technical or too granular here, but the interesting thing about that is if you've never utilized your eligibility, you can exceed our county limit. So you can buy for more than 765.6 and oh, wow. still do zero down. It just means that it's a slightly higher interest rate than okay. if you stayed under 765. And when I say slightly higher, I'm talking about maybe just an eighth of a rate. So instead of 2.75, you might be looking at 2.875. Um, so that's, but that's the county limit. If you're in another county, there are count other counties where the limit is, let's say, 217,000. So mm -hmm. those are things to factor. So that means, okay, I just want to make sure. So the power of the benefit of the VA home loan is that there is no down payment. Is that correct? That is correct. So long you have only, you, you don't currently have any existing loan. Okay. So if you have an existing VA loan, it falls under a different requirement. And, and you guys can just reach out to, to, to you, MJ, or to me, and we could help with that because that does get a little bit more technical. Uh, but yes, if you've yeah. never utilized or right. you don't have any existing VA loans, mm -hmm. you could buy a property for $1.5 million and put zero down. Wow. Wow. Crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. To be able to buy such a large asset. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the few assets you're going to ever find that you can actually buy uh, with very little down. It looks like no down. Right, and if you hold it long enough, that that asset is going to appreciate over time, and you get to live in it, right? And you get tax benefits. So that's just an amazing asset. You really want to start considering this for the long term. If you're thinking of trying to build wealth over time, uh, real estate is the best way to do that. And the use of this VA loan is incredible. I mean, there's no other option like it, right? So if you have been uh, have been serving our country, this is a benefit you deserve to use. And we'd love to help you do that. That's awesome. Yeah. Love that. Oh, I have a question alert on our chat. And it says, would the interest rate scale up progressively to, uh, to match a more expensive purchase? So good question. And, and that's where the county limit comes into play. So yes. If you haven't, if you don't have any existing VA loan, so you could have utilized it before, but you, you sold. So we call it a subsequent use. So you sold the property that you utilized your VA on before, then you're buying again and you're exceeding whatever county you're in, you're exceeding that limit, then yes, the interest rate goes up slightly, but it's not like, okay, the county limit 765 and I want to buy for 800. So it only goes up a little, but what if I want to buy for a million, then does it go up again? No, it's either you're at or under the county limit or you're above. 
And really the difference in the interest rate is so small. It's between an eighth to a quarter higher. And wow. with that, just again, to reiterate, that's no private mortgage insurance monthly and no down payment. Wow, wow, uh, that's incredible. So can you expound on a uh, closing cost? So we know uh, you broke down to us as far as down payments and what that looks like if you have another property. Can you expound on the closing costs? Yeah, so a lot of people, I would say 50% at least of the conversations that I have will sit, will say, when I pro provide them with their scenarios, they'll say, oh, why does it say that I need $7,000? Because I, uh, remember, this is a VA loan, so there's no closing cost. And so that is a very common misconception. The VA loan allows for zero down payment, but there are closing costs when purchasing. There are the appraisal fee, there's an escrow and title fee. There's, there's all kinds of fees that exist, even though you're putting a zero down payment. Now that fee can be covered by the buyer. Okay. It can be covered, there is going to be an option or a scenario where it can be covered by us, by the lender. Mm -hmm. And then there is gonna be some negotiations depending on the strength of your agent um, that could get the seller to pay for a portion of it as well. So if we, what I, what I always like to provide is here's the interest rate and monthly payment if you're going to cover your closing costs. And then I like to provide another scenario, which is here's the exact same property, but at a slightly higher interest rate, and I am going to give you $7,000 to cover your closing costs. So that is something that is a common, co commonly unknown to many, many buyers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you so much. And you just brought up a, a huge point as you're talking about interest rates, which takes us to our next slide. Now, can you break down interest rates? We talked about a little bit. We already know it's historically low, but what does that mean to this generation who didn't know about when I was at 7 8%? I think Dan was even higher than that. So can you expound the power of the interest rates? Yeah, so when when I got when I started this company 15 years ago, I was doing interest rates in the the sevens and sixes for my VA buyers. Um, and then when they dropped to four percent, we were all like, This is crazy. This is uh, this is a historical low. This will never happen again. Yeah. We have to take advantage of this. And and now it's around 2.75, which is just it downright is, crazy. That's it is, incredible. And so here I do like to share, just because a lot of people, they're like, I, they're a, a lot more visual. So I, I want you to know if you're purchasing a property around $450,000 and putting zero down, you're at a rate of 2.75 your principal and interest is going to be around 1,881. On top of that, you have to factor in for your homeowner's insurance. So we factored in $20 for that. And then property taxes, we factored in $85 for that. And something that MJ and Dan can speak to, we factored in a homeowner association due of 450, which gives you a total out of pocket of 2436.18. So a lot of, of our buyers like to compare that to the BAH that they're going to be that they're going to be getting paid every month and when they compare that to perhaps what they could rent for it really starts to make sense in their head how this really could be a huge investment opportunity. Yeah, we actually have one now coming on the market, right, MJ? Um, that's just around this price point. I think a little higher, about five hundred thousand. But yeah, uh, the homeowner association dues are uh, many of our homes um, in the newer developments have associations. Which uh, what, what's good about it is they take care of the privately uh, owned roads, streets, sidewalks, lights, um, and they keep uh, the community in a. Uh, um, how do you say that, uh, it, in a presentable way, meaning you can't leave all this trash outside. So the neighborhoods are nice, right? 
And with that, uh, these are association dues that take care of the cost of that. Most of them have amenities, swimming pool, rec centers, you know, a lot of kind of things, good stuff uh, that you don't ever have to pay for. Um, so that's what that homeowner association dues are. But yeah, we have one right now. Um, we should probably run those numbers and get yeah. you to run some numbers on that 500 because. Yeah. That's what I love. Uh, when I do showings, what I love about Pack Rim is that I can send my showing schedule give them the MLS multiple listing service number and they will break down all of these numbers for every home that yeah. my buyer has to see. So when they look, they're actually able to see that this is not what every lender does. So this yeah. is fabulous that I'm able to empower my buyers the moment we step foot at a property. They're able to see these numbers and make realistic uh, goals for themselves and purchasing. Yeah, I remember I had a client once that um, was comparing two different properties, one that you liked a lot more than the other, um, but they thought it was out of their reach, right? And when we ran the numbers, it was like like less than $10 difference a month. They said, really? I mean, how badly do you want this? Is it worth a couple cups of coffee? I mean, I don't know. Anyways, it helped them make those good decisions that really impact their life forever, right? So getting good information is really important, using factor to be able to to have a team that works together, meaning your team that's gonna aggressively look for properties, but also they're gonna be connected very closely to our lender who can give you the numbers so you can make good decisions about you know, your purchase. I think that's really, really important. So um, yeah, I'd love to help in that area. Thank you. And Dan, uh, this is, uh, the next slide is one that uh, you normally utilize in presentations. Can you yeah. uh, just, down a little bit because a lot of people are visual of uh, the yeah. impact of a rising interest rate. So people kind of see what that looks like. When we're now, excited this, jumping this, over at 2%, what does that look yeah, like? Yeah, that's crazy, right? 2.75. Let's just say it's a round number of three. Three is outstanding, even at that rate. But let's just say, for an example, today was at 4%. And the interest rates just go up 1%, just 1% from 4 to 5%. It doesn't seem like much, right? Though, when you look at the math behind it, most people want to keep their payments the same. So we're looking at how much we owe every month, right? So in this case, you're looking at about 19, 10, that's given 20% uh, down, okay? So if you had that scenario, basically a 1% rise of interest rate, you're gonna lose 11% of buying power, meaning the property you wanted to buy at $500,000, should their interest go up just 1%, now you're looking at $445,000. And that's really the reason why we're doing these classes is to help educate um, buyers that this is probably the absolute best time to buy based on the interest rate alone. The absolute best. I mean, if you think about building wealth, ladies and gentlemen, we build wealth through long-term passive income. And that happens when we have capital appreciation over time, right? And when we're locking in at a crazy low rate like that, I mean, my mother wouldn't give me that rate. I mean, that's a darn good rate, right? 2.7, holy smokes. That's incredible. Go ask your mom and she'll give me 2.7. At a $500,000 asset, right? Yeah, she's going to say, take a hike, right? No, seriously, it's a really good rate. And you're leveraging your money, right? You're putting, you're buying, let's say, a $500,000 asset. And let's just say over time it appreciates, right? Say, three, four, five percent. You've had that appreciation, but you didn't put any money into the asset, right? You didn't, you didn't spend anything to get that growth. So hopefully that helps make sense. I mean, this is an amazing program. Uh, this is an incredible benefit for those of you who have served our country. So thank you. Man, Go ahead. Just to speak a little bit more towards uh, the rate, the interest rate. So a lot of people that I talk to are saying, because of everything happening socially, politically, and with COVID-19, they're thinking that rates are gonna go lower. So they, they might wanna wait. And from an economic standpoint, um, the likelihood of that is so small because we are so low. We're so historically low right now that, and the economy was literally grinded to a halt a few months ago. And now we're starting to reopen. So different states on the mainland have already reopened. Here locally, we just, bars and gyms just opened yesterday. 
So that means the economy is going to start moving again. So as that happens, and as our baseline starts to increase in terms of consumer confidence and feeling better about spending money, the rates are going to go up. So it's contrary to what a lot of people feel. A lot of people are like, I'm going to wait till it gets closer to two or some crazy thought. And so I just want to speak to the economics of it. It makes no sense whatsoever that rates are going to go down. No, 100%. Because you know the economy is going to recover at some point, right? What happens in interest rates, right? They always go up. So, yeah, this is like when they say buy low, sell high. This is the buy low, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. That's that. Well, we have, I have a question alert before we get to mistake number two. We yeah. have how does one get a certificate mm. of eligibility? So, yeah, I, think is, I think that is a great question. So, that's a great question. A lot of a good lender is going to be able to get that for you. We have access to the VA portal. And as long as you get us, you're, if you're active, all we need is your LES. If you're no, no longer active, we would just need your DD-214. And then we, we are able to retrieve it for you. So some people I have heard that their, their previous lender or another lender that they talked to told them, go get your eligibility from the website, which would be my benefit, um, and then call me when you have it. That's definitely not the type of lender that we are. Um, and just as a recommendation, a good lender is going to get it for you. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. High level service. Um, they understand what you need uh, to make this work. So they take out all the bumps in the road, right? Excellent. Well, we've had so much wealth of knowledge already and just mistake number one, and we have <laughs> more to give you. So let's go into mistake number two, and that is truly not understanding the full picture prior to purchasing. So can, uh, Jody, can you expound on what is a full picture when we're looking at a strategy for this? So for... One of my, my missions, the corner, and this is why we're so in alignment with the Hara team because it's one of your missions as well, is really making sure that I know you, your family, your goals, and your goals are going to be different, right? So you might, you're, there's going to be a short-term slash immediate goal, which is I need somewhere to live. I'm coming to Hawaii. And this is when I'm reporting to my duty station and I, I need somewhere to live. Your medium term goals are gonna be a little different than just worrying about a roof over your head, right? And then there's the long term goals. So I actually am working with some of these, I call them my young children, but they are so young and they're so smart and getting, they're educating themselves and they're getting ahead and so based on their long-term goals, their trajectory of the length of time that they get to retain a property is going to be longer than someone who's going to be retiring in a year, right? So, Dan? Oh, oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted to add something. But so that's where understanding your overall financial picture. So, okay, we're only qualifying you on your active duty income, but you're, as you told me, your wife is also going to work and she's gonna be making about 40K a year based on what she's gonna be doing. That's gonna help us to figure out how long you can retain this property. And that's gonna also help us to figure out what your investment strategy should be. That's what I mean by understanding the full picture. Yeah, I, love it. I think one of the, the beautiful things of what you do in your mission, Jody, is you, you take a look at the client as, as a whole, and it's not transactional. This is very relational, right? So it's not about, hey, let's, let's put you in a home and let's get you a rate and we're done. No, the conversation is like, when you leave, what are you going to do? Let's talk about your future. And what is that going to look like? And I think down the road, there's a couple of mistakes. So we'll talk about that later. I think, yeah. So th I thank you what you do. This is awesome. Happy I love it. that as we're talking about this full picture, what are some of the things that we uh, need to consider 
uh, Dana, what, uh, when we look at the real estate market, when we talk about appreciation, you tapped into a little bit when you talked about the impact yeah. of the industry. I think Can you what, what, on that? one of the things you want to consider is real estate uh, will grow over time, right? And it's not, it's not something that, you know, you're going to buy it this year and then next year you're going to make money on it. Typically, it doesn't work that way. In particular, in the, the environment we are today, I would not expect you to expect that. <laughs> um, honestly, if you're thinking of buying today and selling in three years, it might be worth less than three years. Just, just totally transparent and honest with you. So know that those are risks involved, right? When you're thinking of buying but zero down and know you're going to think about selling in three years, uh, what's going to happen at that point, right? Um, because there is a cost of selling, right? There's a co cost for selling for title, escrow, commissions. Uh, all of these fees are going to be avail uh, required for you uh, to get out, right? So not only uh, while you're buying a property, we're helping you consider the, the issues or concerns when you're buying it, but also we want to look at what we call an exit strategy, right? What happens down the road? And the only reason we do that is because we care so much that we know this is not a transaction. You're going to be with us forever, right? You're clients for life, right? At some point, you're going to buy another house or, you know, your kids are going to buy, you know, so these are clients for life. And so we have to approach it differently than versus just transactional, just as Jody was mentioning earlier. One of the things that I like to do is we really, truly want to make sure you're understanding when we say that there is a cost to sell. And so what we'll do is we'll actually build out a scenario for you. Okay, if you are going to leave here in 36 months, I'm going to print your amortization schedule, which is the schedule that shows as you make your incremental monthly payments. So as you're making your mortgage payment every month, it'll show you how your balance reduces. So we'll look, okay, Let's see where your balance is going to be in 36 months. And then we'll actually build out the costs associated with selling. And then we'll speculate on where the sales price would be and produce, okay, am I going to make money? Am I going to break even? Yeah. Do I need to hold the property for longer? Yeah. And so that's what we mean by really making sure that your team that you're surrounding yourself with is having your best interests at heart. Yeah. And then let's say, well, for many of our clients, right, they buy, they love Hawaii, they, they get transferred out, uh, but they want to hold the property. And so they, yeah, they can do that, right? And then you say, well, if I hold it, I need some income, so I need to rent it. Um, so we, we then, even when you're buying it, we take a look at the rental market, right? So you have an understanding of, if it were today that you had to leave, and you had this mortgage and here's your rental income. Now do you really want, is that a good decision for you, right? So know that a good realtor and a good team is gonna provide information for you before you make that very large decision, probably the largest decision you're gonna make, right? To buy a home. Um, we wanna make sure that the team around you provides that information so you can make a good decision. I appreciate that information. So as we go into the next would be affordability versus qualification. What is the difference between the two? So I always like to explain this. Here I kind of notice I, I'm finding out between perhaps if there's, you know, two husband and wife, I'm figuring out who has a better idea of the finances. And that's who I'm more communicating with. I mean, I want to make sure everyone understands, but I might be able to qualify you. Yesterday, I did a scenario, a $1.2 million VA loan with zero down. And wow. that's the numbers we were going over together. And and the, the wife, in this case, was like, 1.2 million? Yeah, I, I have seen houses for 1.2 million that I love. And, love, you know, and she was just, I could see her like fast forwarding to moving into the 1.2 million dollar house <laughs> but then we got to the budget and yeah. and i i really want to make sure that my qualifications just because some computer system and some algorithm is saying you qualify for 1.2 million that does not mean that you can afford it and so that's when i we move on to the next conversation of Let's talk about budget. Let's talk about $5,500 a month. 
is that something that seems realistic to you guys? You know, do you plan on island hopping and, and being able to go see the other islands while you're here? Do you plan on traveling back to the mainland to visit your parents? I mean, or flying your parents here, because that's probably what they would prefer. <laughs> um, and stuff like that, you know, are you going to send your kid to private school? Is there going to be a preschool class? All of these things are, are things that my computer does not take into consideration. And so I, I care mostly that you're gonna be able to afford it because I don't want anyone to call me. If someone calls us a year from now and says we need to sell because we can't afford it, mm -hmm. to me, that means I did not do my job. I failed at, at my job. So that's where affordability versus qualification comes in. Yeah, yeah so important, so, so important. You know. Uh, we have a lot of uh, younger clients that come in and get really excited because of that ability to, the number says I can do it, right? But then reality sets in and there are costs to, to, to enjoy life, right? I mean, I think there's, one, there's a house, but then there's a lifestyle. So the question that we often have with, with our Jody as well as our, our agents is, you know, tell me about how you want to spend your time here. You know, what's going to turn your wheels? You know, what, what do you like to do? And that's going to go in later in regard to getting more acclimated as well. So um, they, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm transferring to Hawaii. You know, I'm not going to bring my car. Um, I guess I got to go buy one, right? Is that okay? It is, as long as we communicate and strategize. Yes. So w when I'm talking to you guys, from the beginning, hopefully well before you PCS here, yeah. we are talking about debts or new liabilities or things you are going to have to buy or finance. Some people actually can't even afford to the upfront expenses with shipping their things over here. And so I can factor in these costs so that you are able to buy the car that you need, or you're able to move what you need to move, but that does have an impact on what you're going to qualify for. Mm -hmm. So what I mean, just to say it in another way, I had someone call me yesterday or two days ago and say, Hey, I'm, I'm going to buy a car. Is it okay? My monthly payment's going to be about three fifty a month. How is that going to impact my qualification? And so that was a, to me, I was like, he totally gets it. He <laughs> understood our console. Yeah, like right? that, it's like the most amazing question to hear because he really was tracking. And so what I did, hopped into the, to our software, I input an additional debt of 350 a month. And then I recalculated what he would qualify for. Now in his particular case, what he wants to purchase, it didn't impact his numbers. Wow. But in, so he, because he qualifies for more than he actually wants, he's fine. So I was, you're fine. But there's also been many instances when I've had to tell someone, okay, we've already identified, you need your car. You need to buy a car. We're going to pick a, we're going to not exceed 500 a month. So based on not exceeding 500 a month for the car payment, now we have to bring down your qualification to about 500,000. And previously, they may have been looking at about 575. So yeah. that's the difference. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just we need communication and we need strategizing to, to make sure that you guys and us, everyone is on the same page. A, a funny story, one well, maybe not so funny. Uh, many years ago, classic example, right? Guy comes in, he's all excited about buying a house. Uh, he decided to use a different lender, not one that I recommended. And, um, and then before signing, I get a call. I said, oh, we got a problem. So we got to extend closing. I go, what's, what's the problem? I said, well, um, he doesn't qualify. What changed? How could he? Why would he not get qualified? Does he have a job? Well, he has a job. It's fine. He just bought a real expensive car. Said, you didn't have a conversation with him on that? <laughs> it's like, you know, Mr. Lender, come on. You know that's going to impact his ability to do what you want to do. And so not everybody has those conversations, Jody, honestly. You're, you're one of the few that will dive deep into that person's the lifestyle. And, and that's why we partner with, with Jody and her team at Pac Rim because it's a holistic approach, right? It's like, how do we get you to your goal 
smoothly as possible. And if you want to do certain things, it's okay, but you got to know there's a consequence likely to that, right? I mean, yeah. sure, you can buy a nice car, though, know that you may not be able to buy exactly the house that you wanted, or maybe you just wait a little while, right? Close first and then buy the car. You know, right. you know there's things, things we can talk about. But without that conversation, you know, we're, we're just reacting, right? Versus being proactive. Cool. So mistake number three would be not using a VA savvy real estate agent. As you see, yeah. all of the wealth of knowledge you've already received from mistake one and two, you'll notice how important it is to have someone that understands the local uh, market. That's an expert. Um, someone who is going to know what you're looking for. And that's understanding as Jody and Dan have said, when I tell you, um, you won't find too many people who really care about your needs versus how much money they can make off of you. But as you heard them share, they're not trying to make the max amount on a loan or the max commission. They're focused on making sure that, that we serve you well. And I think that's important when it comes to looking for a real estate agent, number one, but also that understands the VA home loan um, and the power behind it and understanding when you're looking at a condition of a property. Uh, as Jody mentioned already, we don't do uh, investment properties. However, when we're looking at deeming costs, we can look at properties that are of average condition, but what does that look like? What are some of those exemptions? And so one of the things that uh, when I always bring to Jody, I'll ask, hey, I have these clients that want to look at this property. What's your thoughts on this? Do we have to do appraisal on it? And she'll mention to me things like deferred maintenance or unpermitted improvements. So Jody, can you expound a little bit on that? Yeah, so again, I, I love working with hardworking agents, specifically the Ohara team, because a lot of times I won't even get a chance to see the property before our buyer has fallen in love with it. And then of course I have to be the bad guy that's like, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna fly for VA. So it's, <laughs> it's something we could have prevented and it's emotional because this is a huge decision and so I love it when MJ is sending me these properties ahead of time and we get to again I, I guess the word of the day should be strategize but yeah. we get yes. to strategize okay this looks good now I haven't driven to the property but these in the pictures this is what concerns me and so that's when MJ is actually going to get on the phone and communicate with the seller side and yes. see if okay we love it and we're qualified, but there might be a fresh coat of paint that has to go over this chipping wood. Um, or we do notice some wood rot. So how is the seller open to helping us out, helping us cover this up? Um, and so, yeah, that's what we mean by deferred maintenance and, and unpermitted improvements. I, we need to identify these upfront so that we as a team can be educating our buyers upfront. Yeah, I'll, I'll chime in on that one also. <coughs> Excuse me. The 15 years of doing this and, and thousands of homes that we've seen, uh, we've learned um, what's legal and what's not legal. <laughs> uh, the city and county department of planning and permitting is the guiding body behind what's legal or not legal. And understanding those local rules are really important. So you're gonna wanna find a local savvy agent that understands what's legal and not legal just by looking at it. I mean, I, we, we walk into a, a property the other day, um, you know, and the person loved the home. And then I looked at the wall and I said, you know, we're gonna have a problem here. And they said, well, what's the problem? It's a nice wall. I said, it is a nice wall, but it's greater than the, the height limit. So how do you know that? Because I know the height limit is six feet and it's a lot higher than six feet. So, um, you know, what we're gonna have to do is consider if you had to get it legal and permitted, what would that cost, right? And really all we had to do is take off the top, the top layer of hollow tile. So we got a contractor in there and said, give me an estimate. Should this be a problem with, with the loan, then we're gonna have to remove that and get a permit for it. And so we walked him through that process. He understood it, though good, good news is worst case never showed up. But what we are prepared for worst case, right? And that's really what you wanna do is have an agent that understands uh, the local laws and requirements of the VA loan. 
Uh, and then also being able to work with the other agent, right? You know, if a home uh, has peeling paint, has unpermitted areas, has uh, uh, areas that would not be approved by a VA appraiser, then we have to work with the seller's agent and the seller's agent has to cooperate with us because it's their house, right? Well, we can't go paint somebody's house that we don't know. <laughs> so you gotta get their approval and it's all about being collaborative, right? It's all about the cooperative approach and just, just being professional and kind and caring with where we're going because honestly, at the end of the day, the seller wants to sell and the buyer wants to buy. There's some few little roadblocks in the way, but we can help you get there. And so we bring in contractors, we get an estimate, we let the seller understand, we'd ask them to, to paint it because in order for us to close, we need that to happen. Worst case, they say, no, they're not gonna do it, but they'll let us do it. Then maybe that's something that we gotta consider. If we wanna really buy the property, that's something that you're gonna have to invest in. It could be as simple as a hundred bucks a paint, right? So it's all about finding solutions to the problems um, and finding somebody that will advocate for you and negotiate um, all the terms. And it, this could be all the way to the end, ladies and gentlemen. You could be shopping for a month and then being an escrow for a month and like 15 days prior to closing, boom, this shows up. And if your agent's not on top of this, there's a good chance that, that this might not work for you. And that'd be really, really tough for most folks. And I just want to add, I've also had the opposite, which is, I've had a buyer call me and say, well, we love this property, but our agent just told us it's an absolute no-go. And, and I've, I've looked at the property and, and I have said respectfully, I disagree. And I do feel like this is something we can do. And I, I have done something like this historically. I mean, we do, a, we do the most VA loans out of you know, anyone in the state. And so, I've had to go back and forth, and this is where educating agents, realtors, um, comes into play, but also this is where having a savvy VA real estate agent comes into play because I've had these conversations where it's, I'm 100% positive we can do this loan, and they've been like, no, we're, I'm not submitting an offer. So it's interesting. Yeah, not all, not all loan officers. I mean, it's a special product type, right? It's a specialty. A VA loan is a specialty. And, it, and I say specialty only because, you know, the, the vanilla stuff, that's easy. Anybody can do that. But when you have a property that's not plain vanilla, that's got a little differences in it, then how do we get through it? And it's only, Jody, because of your 15-year year experience, right? You've, you've seen things that have became problems and you had to find solutions and you did and now you have a proof of concept that it can be done based on those conditions. That's what we need to lean in, ladies and gentlemen. We need to have a lender that has that wealth of knowledge and experience to get you those dream homes that some people might say, you know, you can't buy that. That's awesome. Yes. Um, as we go on, as you see, these are some of the things as we mentioned when it comes to condition that would prevent uh, you from being able to purchase a home because in order for VA to approve it, of course, it has to be in safety conditions and health conditions. And these are some of the things as you see of uh, these images that would prevent a VA home loan that would need to be taken care of. As you saw the dry rotting wood, exposed wood, uh, chip paint, um, as well as you have the staircases, uh, entryways or exits, yeah. And unpermitted areas. Yeah. Um, anytime they walk into them. So all of these things that you did, we just shared with you, um, very easy to identify, right? I mean, we, we, yeah. we can see that in an MLS picture. That's why Jody doesn't have to go to the house. I mean, she's looked at enough homes. And we have looked at enough homes that we, we know those things could be red flags. But if you really like the home, then it's about finding solutions to those red flags. Yes. And another thing, as we mentioned, uh, as far as having a savvy real estate agent, is making sure that they are advocating and negotiating on your behalf, which is really important. That's one of the things that has been built in the HARA team is lead generation. 
uh, that is important. We do what's called circle prospecting, uh, where we strongly, strongly push on your end to find your property. If it's not on the market, hey, we're going to go out there and find it for you and get it on the market for you. Uh, We're always thinking of you as well as being uh, very clear and experienced with the contract which is very important. And in our uh, buyer's consultation, uh, we make sure, and it is always our goal, that you feel like you are a real estate agent after you have worked with yeah. us. My yeah. last, actually, it's so funny. My last two uh, sales, they have both now decided to take the real estate course. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. And so that is our joy to be able to yeah. provide that to you. And when you have a savvy real estate agent, they're going to be connected to a savvy lender to make the process good for you. So going on to mistake number four, unless we have any more information on the unpermitted areas. No, we're good. Okay. For time's sake, we're going to go to number four, which is waiting until arrival to start the process. And it's two ways, uh, waiting with the loan qualifications and understanding the local real estate market. So let's talk about the loan qualification. So a lot of people call me and they'll say, you know, I'm not coming until October. And so I don't really want you to take a look at my credit. I just want you to put together numbers and tell me how much I qualify for. Mm -hmm. And that, again, this is where education comes in because I can't do that. I cannot, yes, I can use dummy numbers and I can use estimates and say, okay, yeah, you qualify for 765,000. You qualify for the county limit. You're good to go. Now, And that's what a lot of lenders do. So they'll say, you're pre-qualified, you're golden. And the reality is, again, I actually have to run the automated approval through a software that produces a finding. And I cannot do that unless I have reviewed your credit. And a lot of people get scared that it's gonna negatively impact their credit score. And the reality is, that the algorithm has been tweaked, the credit scoring algorithm has been tweaked to understand when someone is trying to educate themselves and get qualified so that it's not dinging you by 10 points or 15 points like it historically used to. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two is I love, there's, it's never, ever, ever too early because I want to be able to sit down with you, get get on a Zoom with you in most cases because you're not here yet and hash through your credit report and tell you why your score Mm -hmm. is what it is and then tell you if you do A, B, C, D, that is going to increase your qualification by X amount, which is what you're trying to do. Or if you pay this off, or a lot of times it's just paying down a credit card to get to a certain percentage of utilization and then we're able to move forward. Now, without this due diligence process where we're able to collaborate and we're able to plan and strategize, if I get a call, like I actually just got one today in the morning, they literally want to submit an offer today. And it's my first time talking to them. So, Listen, there's nothing wrong with that. And if that's where you are now, you're already here locally and you haven't spoken to a lender, you don't have a savvy real estate agent yet, absolutely 100% I can help you. But would it have been better if we communicated 60 days ago? Yes, it would have. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think improving your position uh, helps you be able to buy more basically, right? Uh, and maybe potentially saving you money. So why wouldn't you want to do that? Plan ahead, ladies and gentlemen, plan ahead. All right. Um, And the next item was understanding the local real estate market. Really understanding uh, how to determine value is the first question, right? People come into our island and they go, oh, I want to buy that. And either they think it's, most people think it's just too expensive, right? Because of where they came from to where it is today. You know, Hawaii is a very unique environment. It's very different than most of the world. You know, we're the most re- remote place on the planet. 
right? Surrounded by water, right? Warm weather all year round. Um, so, but it's different because we're in the tropics. So, you know, the demographics of every neighborhood is going to change. The, the topography, you know, there's some, we have hills, we've got valleys. You know, if somebody has respiratory challenges and they want to buy a house in the back of the valley, we may want to have them reconsider that because that's where you're going to have uh, challenges with the respiratory area, you know, because of the mold and mildew, things like that, the pollen. Um, you want probably want to go to the drier area. But if you say that, you know, uh, when we ask the questions of, I don't know, how many in your family, how many kids you have, where are they going to go to school? And if you're saying, well, you know, you have three kids and they're all going to go to private school in town, well then living out on the west side of the island, that just know there's, there's going to be challenges with that because of commuting traffic. So understand, understand traffic patterns, understanding that um, if you're on the plains on the island, then you go up on the hill, you know, that could be much cooler. They say, uh, a pilot once told me that uh, a thousand vertical feet gives you 4% difference in temperature, right? So it could be um, 70 degrees here and 74 degrees up here, that kind of thing. Um, actually, it's probably the other way around. It's like 80 degrees here and 75 here, <laughs> right? Um, so just understanding that the island is really important, understanding neighborhoods, and then really, if you see something interesting or we see something interesting, um, you know, MJ is going to get out there and she's going to do a private showing for you from your own home. You can walk through the house. You can ask questions. Hey, would you mind opening that curtain? Would you mind opening the drawer? You know, we can do all those things for you from the comfort of your own home to give you that confidence that, yeah, I can buy this property site and see, yes, I can buy it. I, I know enough about it, right? Know that once you even put in an offer, you get an acceptance. We have a due diligence period that we're going to go through as well. And even during that time, you can get out of it. Okay. So the next is understanding Hawaii's real estate process. And this is one of the things that we talk about in our buyer's consultation. So you're kind of clear of typically what it looks like for closing. Now, VA, many of our VA, when we're utilizing great lenders and we understand the motivations of the 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 seller, because sometimes that is important. Sometimes we can utilize that as a means of motivation. We'll normally make a call before we even put an offer and we'll ask the seller outside of price, what else is important to the seller? And a lot of times it's, oh, man, they wanna be able to get out of here as quickly as possible. And because the VA home loan is so amazing, oftentimes we'll be able to put in a 30 day close. So we'll look at ways to make our contract more attractive. So many times we're able to close in 30 days on a VA home loan, which is amazing here uh, uh, on the island. We also have typical timelines, which you should know about. Your inspection periods are normally 10 to 15 days from acceptance. Termite inspection is normally 15 days prior to closing. And signing docs and funding loads are normally three days prior to closing. And as well as when you connect with us, we always love to give you the ways in which there's seven ways a buyer can counsel. Uh, so we want you to know your rights. And we always think that's very important. So before we start anything in our buyer's consult, we always make sure you know your rights and the seven ways you're able to do so. Yeah, I know that um, the reason why we do that is because we're real fans of advocacy and education. But when, when, you, when you hear MJ talk about uh, all the things that we can do and the ways you can get out of it, know that, um, know that it's not about us, right? It's not about how much money we're going to make. It's about advocacy, like letting you know that if it's not very properly, we're, we're going to cancel. We're going to get out of it because we're going to find a better one, right? So uh, it, your interest is always at our interest. And finally, we're on our last one. I'm so disappointed. This has been so amazing, but we are down to mistake number five, and that is not being prepared for the relocation. That's one of the reasons as an agent, I thought it was very important for me to empower myself and to get certified as a military relocation professional so that I can best be able to holistically meet the needs of every buyer that comes to us. Um, and you see that Jody has the same heart as a lender. So we always want to find, we really want to see what your wants and your needs and your goals are so that you can make sure that you have the right 
team around you and that you're focused and know when you're coming from the mainland here to Hawaii. I came here in 1998. I know I'm telling mm -hmm. my age now. <laughs> um, you're 10. But, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And so I can, in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, when I get here, there's just going to be huts and tents and hula skirts and there's going to be no nothing out there. When I came here, I'm like, oh my God, look at Waikiki. It was like oh, all of this, like, what do I do with my life? And um, I also recognize that being in the military, families have to uh, get up and, and take their whole families. And it is a hard transition. So what we can do is so important. And I find this... Uh, one of the things I truly enjoy is to make the, the experience something that they enjoy, that they were glad that we were there to be a foundation for them when they came here and have a trusted uh, alliance. I love it when my clients are telling me, I can't wait, that aren't even here yet, to say, I can't wait to meet my best friend because <laughs> she's done everything I need to get here. I just want to... I'm just ready to come see you when I get off that plane because everything is laid out for them. And I think that is important. Things that you need to know. You need to make sure you have the right lender. You need to make sure you have the right realtor. And I know as a mother of three kids, knowing the school systems are very important. Understanding the neighborhood. Um, and also, uh, Dan already mentioned it, uh, even when it comes to uh, why you need to have a savvy real estate agent who knows the different areas and climates, um, so that this is important for you. Uh, maybe there's specific specialists of doctors that you need. I make phone calls for my clients, and I'm helping them find specialists that uh, they're going to need medically for them. Finding the best dentist that's worked for my family. My husband's a barber of two uh, two barber <laughs> shops. So I'm like, hey, really good, you too. Know, need one, I got you. And they're like, oh yeah. man, thank you so much. And I'm also I've already scheduled with one client when they get here, we're going hiking because I've told them about all the various different hiking activities. So making this as enjoyable as possible and making sure that you're prepared. Um, as we know, for many of the VA, when, you, when they get here, they're on a timeline. They have like 30 days to make this happen. As you see, you don't want to wait 30 days to get all of these things that we've talked about. We can help you in advance to be prepared. That's so awesome, MJ. Yeah, our, our mission was to be the, uh, your realtor for life. And this is how it works, right? I mean, it's not just about a transaction. It's not about a house or a condo. It's about life. And life is, is, is very diverse. It could be from a yard guy. I know yesterday, the other day, you helped somebody with a yard guy right? Yeah. And the cleaners, anything that you need, uh, any area you want to visit, anything you want to learn, um, that's what we're here for, right? And our clients, you know, we they have dinners, we have parties, uh, we stay pretty close. Very cool. And I think Jody mentioned it. I think our theme today was strategy. Um, that's what we were helping you with. And uh, Five steps is for strategy. I would say number one is hire a professional team. I would call it, as, as Carrie says, uh, he's into the marvels. So I like to put it this way. You need to find Avengers team that has all the powers that you need to make this journey amazing for you. And that's going to understand your needs, your wants, and your goals to identify and advance the challenges. Um, I love that we are always forward thinking for you so that you don't have to do that on your own. We're already taking on those things to make this easier for you and learn all the options that are available for you and create a plan to help you find that dream home for you at this present moment. And most importantly, to execute. So we would love to offer you a complimentary private no obligation strategy session. So if you have been empowered just by, by these five steps, we only gave you about 10% of our, what's out there. We would love to be able to strategize. What I love is when we're able to uh, have a meeting with the lender and the agent with you together. Now that's empowerment where we're able to help you at one time. You can ask all the questions you need. We'd love to offer that to you today. So please feel free to give a call at that number 
text call 852-8797 and we'll be that Avenger team to help you through to meet your real estate goals. We hope that you have enjoyed so far the five mistakes that a VA, so that you don't have to do any of those mistakes um, and that we can help you move forward. So I'd like to give it to Dan as I love for him to share a little bit about what makes the hard team so special and the complete solution vision. Yeah, um, 15 years ago we started in real estate and the goal was to, to feed the family and we did well. Uh, my wife joined us, Julie, she's um, joined us and then we started building our business and over time uh, we have a large organization, we have specialists. Uh, Michelle is our VA specialist, right? So we have people that, we have investment specialists, we have senior specialists. So we, we built an organization around people that do something that is at a really high level. Um, and we, because people said, well, I'm gonna leave or I wanna buy investment properties, we have a company called High Property Management. So we manage about 150 doors today, mostly of our clients. Uh, we don't really go out aggressively market it yet, although we will. And uh, they just provide a high level of service to our clients who are not gonna be here. Uh, the way we do that is through a, uh, a high level uh, portal system that we actually found in Texas and we brought it here to Hawaii, mainly because we, we started investing around the country and wanted to find best practices. It was so good that we brought it here uh, and all of our clients benefit from that. We also have another company called Stage Hawaii. Stage Hawaii is for anyone who's thinking of selling their home and wants to make it look good. Um, because staging was quite expensive, most people didn't want to do it, but we truly believe that it matters how your home looks when you're selling it. And so we just do it at a discounted price um, so we can uh, help you sell your home. Uh, we, then we also started another company 10 years ago called Senior Move Managers in Declutter Hawaii, where we help people downsize, declutter, move, uh, our kupuna, our older adults here in Hawaii that are going to retirement communities or care homes, or if they're a successor trustee, mom and dad passed away, uh, I'm not living here, who can help us clear out the house? Who can help us sell the house? Who can help us get it ready? Who can help us rent it? All of those things came into what we call the complete solution. So whether you wanna buy, sell, invest, rent, or move, we can help you with that. And that's what the complete solution is. Anything. Uh, involving real estate, uh, likely there's going to be a solution that we have and we've, we've done over the last 15 years. Over almost 1,100 clients that we uh, transactions that we've helped successfully close. Lastly is Silver Spoons, which is our nonprofit. It's really designed to help older adults who cannot help themselves. Um, and we've taken the 10% the of the profits from our organizations to personally fund that organization to help our seniors who um, are in a tough position and need some help without funds. That, that is a beautiful, beautiful vision. Thank you so much for sharing and making sure that you meet the needs of anyone that comes your path. Thank you so much. Next we have is upcoming uh, webinars. So if you are inspired by this one, guess what? We have a slew of webinars that we have thought about every need of a person that comes through our doors. So Carrie, share with us some of our upcoming webinars. Absolutely, we appreciate you guys joining us. Michelle was spot on. I'm a superhero junkie, but you know what? We appreciate our service men and women there are the true heroes out yes, there yeah. so um absolutely this was a blessing uh, we do michelle said we have lots of inf informational seminars so if you have questions on real estate uh, a couple of the upcoming webinars we're doing we're doing a deep dive on a 1031 exchange and so if you have investment property uh, maybe you had previously uh spent some uh of TCS on here on island and now had moved off and you're renting out your property. Um, this might be something you want to take a look at, right? Um, that would be next week. And then also we'd be ending the month of June with the 10 steps to buying a home. So things as a, a home buyer, whether or not it's the first time or, or you've been there before, this might be something you'd want to take a look at. And so you'd find all of our webinar information on actually our webpage, iharateamhawaii.aw.com and recordings. And so, you know, you can search uh, our, our schedule, our recordings of these webinars in the past, and it's a very, very hyper-specific. So as you guys are working with Jody, working with Michelle, uh, 
friends and numbers can change just by crossing the street. So use our site to get a hyper-specific neighborhood search and trends. It's awesome. And um, you know what? Also, follow us on Facebook and uh, Instagram. You know, catch up with what we're doing. You guys on Facebook right now, if you had any questions before we end the day for Jody and Michelle, please put them in the chat and let's get those questions answered. But like, share, just engage. We're here to serve you and to help as much as possible. Yeah, if you've uh, found value in this uh, here on Facebook, please share that with your family and friends. Uh, our goal is to bring value to the community from our years of experience uh, serving our, our, our population who are trying to come to Hawaii. Our military in particular uh, are very special to us. A um, little, my personal background, my, my father was a retired colonel in the army. He's 92 years old today, still surviving, a World War II veteran. Uh, spent 32 years in the army. I was a what they call a military brat. I don't know about that term, but anyways, that's what people call me. Uh, <laughs> Shirley was a highly disciplined in uh, growth and environment to be in. But, but yeah, we, we love our military. We just thank you for all that you've done for our country. Yes, thank you so much, everyone, for your service. We appreciate you. And we just wanted to let you know, what is our foundation? Why do we do what we do? And it is our mission and one of the reasons why I came to the HARA team. And that is simply um, our goal is to honor God by serving others with the highest level of competency, care, and compassion with uncompromising integrity. And that is our goal. That is what we strive in every, I wouldn't call it transaction, with every relationship that comes our way. That is our goal. And that's why we connect with like-minded people like Jody and her, her wonderful uh, uh, company, Pack Rim. And we are here to serve you and we're gonna give you everything that we have. Oh, I think the MJ got frozen there. Is MJ frozen or is that just me? It might be, but you know what, guys? So this is a great time again. We just wanted to make sure to thank you for your time. Thank you, Jody, yes. for spending time thank with you, us. And so again, if you did have questions, wanted to chat uh, and plan ahead and, and get some, get a strategy session and give Michelle Jones a call. Her, her number is there on the screen at 808-852-8797 and her email and, and reach out to Jody as well uh, at yeah, 808-223-2761 and Jody at packrimmortgage.com. And um, thank you guys so much for your time today. Thank you, Jody. Yes, You're welcome. Thank you, Jody. thank you. Very informative. And then we'd love to get your feedback. Right, Karen? Yeah, you know what? We will, um, that feedback form is right there. If you found um, uh, something specific, we. Iron sharpens iron. We, we want to continue to grow. We would love to get your feedback. Uh, what was important that you heard today? Um, what it maybe we didn't cover that you'd like to hear in a future webinar or discussion? You know, um, use that Google link to, to reach out to us. We'd love to hear what you think. Uh, and then, of course, you can always stay connected on, on our way, eharateamhawaii.kw.com. Well, thanks, everybody. I'm so sorry we went way over time. Uh, we were just having so much fun, right, Joe? Um, talking about all the things that we're so passionate about. Though, so, um, yeah, if you found this of interest, feel free to give us a call. Uh, let us know. We can help you if you have any questions. You know, it's always good just to have a conversation to chat about your situation, maybe plan a little, um, and make that transition a little smoother than it really, you know, doesn't have to be that difficult, right? We can make this a fun, enjoyable transition um, and very, really painless, now touchless, <laughs> right? We can do everything virtual, believe it or not. So well, thank you all very much for coming. We appreciate you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, please share uh, this video uh, for those who are in your world that you think would appreciate it. But thanks again, everybody. We appreciate your time. Aloha. Thank you, everybody.